How is it going? We're back again with the last video of our basic series where I will show you what's in the context menu and also do some explaining. First of all, let's open the context menu by pressing its button, same as the options button on the left controller, only this time it's on the right. The first tab here is the material tab. You can choose from a lot of different materials, give each object a different one if you'd like. Next one is the Topology tab. Here you can see the polygon count of your active object and the total count for your whole scene. The Decimate command will simplify your mesh and reduce the face count to the number of your choice. Subdividing, opposite to decimating, will increase the number of polygons. With Regularize you can even out topology all across the mesh. You can set its resolution. Voxel Remesh rebuilds and fixes geometry with an even topology. The approximate resolution can be adjusted. Next up you can see the Transforms tab. The first option here is to flip your selected object. It's useful to turn on the visibility of the bounding box and pivot and the world coordinate space for this command. If you choose to flip on the x-axis, your symmetry plane is going to be determined by the z and y axes. You can also think about this as inverting the x-coordinates of your vertices or multiplying them by minus 1 in a mathematical sense. Flipping is going to use the local orientation. Next up is the clone and mirror and mirror and weld commands. Note that you can access all of the commands only in scene mode. Here you can select which object's axes you want to use to determine symmetry planes, or you can select world orientation. Clone and mirror is going to create a flipped copy of your selected object, very useful for example when creating guys, and mirror and world is going to merge your copy into the object. Obviously, if the selected symmetry plane is inside your object, it's going to create one continuous symmetrical mesh. If it mirrors and welds the other side of what you want, just go ahead and flip it first. Next up, we have the Poly Transforms tab, where the first option is to either separate mass topology or delete it. The two ways of editing mass polygons. If a sculpt object consists of multiple continuous meshes, you can separate these into new objects with the press of a button. Use the slider to set the maximum number of objects you would like to get as a result. The order of separation is based on the polygon number of continuous meshes found in the object. Let me give you a scenario for that. Let's imagine you have a sculpt of an upper body consisting of three continuous meshes joined together, the torso, the arm and the hand. The torso has a poly count of 100, the arm of 50 and the hand of 20. If you press separate, one of your objects is going to be the torso and the other one is your arm and your hand still joined together. This is an important feature for example when cleaning up 3D scans. Let's imagine you had used box and remesh on a mouth scan. After remeshing you'll probably end up with a lot of small continuous pieces and you can easily get rid of those with this setup of features. The last command here is close holes, which is going to detect any holes on your selected object and automatically close them up. So this is it for the last video, please if you have any questions let us know in the comments below and if you found these videos helpful please give us a like. Subscribe for more helpful content in the future and see you in the next one.